Good evening, everyone. Um, today I'm going to share with you how I started working on painting scents and uh, in general how I came up with the idea of making them and using my own style, like which people called tunnel vision or warp speed flowers. So I'm always asked uh, how long I've been painting and I would say since I was a kid. My art journey started with coloring books and when I didn't have them, I would draw whatever I wanted. Animals, cartoon characters, cars, flowers appeared on my paper sheet. And once I didn't have a brush, but I have a strong wish to draw something. Um, I watched a TV show where somebody um, made a brush using a, a stick and a cat's tail fur. Uh, I could say only one thing, poor my grandmom's cat. <laughs> and and um, yeah, the uh, brush which I made um, using it uh, wasn't good. <laughs> uh, when I was in the first grade, uh, my classmates always asked me to make a drawings for them during art classes. And uh, in the end of the class, I got like around 15 minutes uh, to make my own drawings. And they didn't, well, uh, didn't look well due to a lack of time. Um, when I finished school, I had to f um, came up with the idea um, which profession do I have to pick up. And uh, my parents wanted to see me as a manager somewhere, uh, but being honest, I didn't want that. I sometimes, like, thanks to my sometimes stubborn character and wishing in my heart, I graduated from um, college and got a floristry degree. And during that time, um, I could uh, learn more about plants, flowers, and making flower compositions. So um, even more, in 2017, I was invited to be a judge for a floral contest, which was held in uh, this college. Um, I wanted to learn more and uh, make something beautiful for people. So I decided to enroll in Kyiv National University of Culture and Arts. I never took any private art classes and like I felt like I was good at art and it was my big mistake. <laughs> During an art exam, future students were told to make a large scale painting using watercolor and another piece using graffiti. So when the time had come and uh, to show our paintings to our teacher, I looked around and like thought like only one thing. I want to vanish from this class as soon as possible with all my drawings because they didn't look well. And since that time, I had a strong feeling what I needed to improve. And uh, in the end, I achieved my goal and I, got a, uh, I earned a degree with distinction. So uh, later, I would say uh, my next stage in my life began making money. So I had around eight or even ten jobs uh, in different fields over two years, but none of them were the right fit. When I was making paintings, I felt more happier, even if I made it for myself or as a gift to somebody. Uh, so I also believe that uh, when it's very important to all of us, when we find a job which we like and do with passion, uh, we will have probably more happier society. So when I quit my last job, I uh, also felt like uh, I was done with looking for new jobs. And I wanted to make some money with, uh, through art. So I decided, uh, I also knew that I have no money to start my own business. And uh, also I knew that no one would help me with it. Um, I could make like uh, two or three sales uh, during uh, a year, but the sales like were miserable. And um, I also uh, painted like what people wanted to see. So they shared some pictures from the internet or taken by them, but it wasn't something my own. And uh, even more during that time, a lot of people didn't believe in me and I had to stop being friends with those who told me to stop dreaming and just they felt like I had to find a regular job. But I didn't listen to them and uh, I decided to try. So I um, knocked on doors to different art organizations and uh, some doors were open to me. Uh, 
the leader of organizations, so my uh, passion and professionalism, and I was invited to be a member of non-governmental organization, Union of Women of Chernigi Region. Um, in a year, uh, I became a leader for their art branch, um, and uh, this role was on a volunteer basis. And also, I wasn't paid for this role, but I did enjoy uh, working with talented people uh, and try to achieve their, uh, some art goals. In a five years, my art branch became recognizable and uh, successful. And in uh, 2016, I got an award, uh, Woman of the Year, uh, from the city council of my city and non-governmental organization, Union of Women of Chernigi Region, for my public activity and high professionalism. I liked being successful, but I still felt like something I was missing in my life. And in uh, 2019, I moved to the United States and got married to a man whom I have loved for a very long time. Uh, living here in the first month, my husband asked me to uh, make a painting for his friend's birthday. And the theme for the painting had to be new for me. It had to be a military painting. What did I know about military? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> so my husband is a veteran, and he shared with me some ideas for the future painting. He spoke to me about uh, military things like tanks, uh, patches, models, branches, and uh, I started working. So when interesting thing that uh, when the painting was done, uh, some people started uh, reaching out to me asking for their own uh, military paintings. So my art journey uh, had like a new stage. I became a military artist. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but you know, like I read, I um, learned a lot, and I tried to feel military spirit. But it wasn't like passion of mine. I did enjoy uh, looking satisfied uh, faces of my clients when they get, got paintings from me. Uh, but I wanted to make something like unique, recognizable, like my own style of making paintings. So. Um, Yes, some, some of my uh, paintings, military art. Um, but, you know, uh, rough time helped me. Um, today I'm going to pass uh, some story about difficulties which I faced, but I was, um, I'm grateful uh, for opportunities because I, during that time I had time to make paintings and which helped me to reduce the stress. So, how we came up with the idea for my Tunnel vision paintings. Once I accidentally broke a glass. And the glass wore, uh, was broken into little pieces. And I looked at that glass and you know, I felt as broken as that glass. But when I was looking at the glass, I also saw, uh, found something fascinating. And I took pictures of that glass and soon I forgot about them. Um, also, I liked being outside and um, taking some walks and uh, um, while being in my thoughts. And uh, during those walks, I also noticed uh, different little tiny pieces laying on the ground, like rocks, sticks, also some uh, sort of um, broken things. And I was thinking, like, if I were to put those things together using imagination or composition, it could be transformed into nice pictures or paintings. And I remembered about the glass, which I broke. So I decided, OK, so probably I have to start to make a painting. And uh, I wanted to paint like, um, make a painting like more realistic and abstract at the same time. So uh, I uh, painted the glass in the middle more realistic and the other parts more abstract, uh, like a warp speed image. So. Um, but when the painting was done, I just placed it somewhere in the corner of the room, but, but just because I wasn't sure that somebody would like my art. And as a person who likes being outside and taking pictures of uh, different flowers, I came up with another idea. I also found laying on the ground little tiny flowers, 
And I also decided to make a painting, another painting, uh, the same way which I did uh, previous with the glass. Uh, so I made it and once again hid it from everyone. Um, but one day, my husband decided to publish um, one of my paintings, like picture of my paintings on social media. But no, I didn't know he was doing that. <laughs> so, but uh, you know, um, people loved it. I got a positive feedback and uh, it really inspired me. Uh, a lot of people told me to keep working, to keep making new paintings. And I really was grateful for everyone who took time to write down nice comments to my husband and like to everyone just even who just liked uh, the, uh, that painting. So in 2021, um, I started working on my uh, unique style, uh, which people call tunnel vision or uh, warp speed uh, flowers. And by the way, I didn't mind these terms. Um, I like being outside, uh, taking pictures of flowers. And when some paintings uh, also were done, I started looking for some opportunities. I submitted uh, my paintings to different art galleries, but you know, none of those galleries got back to me, except one. I got a mail from uh, Side Street Studio Arts in Elgin stating that my um, painting was accepted for the group exhibition. I was so excited <laughs> to participate. Um, and later, um, during that exhi uh, exhibition, uh, my painting um, was selected as a judge's runner-up for Best in the Show. And later, I was invited to do a podcast for a Side Street Studio Arts in Elgin. And this really inspired me to keep working, to keep looking for new opportunities, and also keep sending uh, and submitting <laughs> my paintings to different organizations and um, galleries. So my next uh, group exhibition was in Oak Park Art League and Brushwood Center at Ryerson Woods. Um, one very important exhibition was done um, in, at uh, Side Street Studio Arts uh, titled Home. This exhibition, um, for this exhibition, I made special uh, painting Flowers for Ukraine. And uh, also this exhibit um, address concerns about the violence in Ukraine, uh, war and struggles of uh, refugees and homelessness. Uh, and this exhibition featured um, artworks by Elgin High School students and two Ukrainian artists, me and Sergei Dobrynov. So my <coughs> first solo exhibition was done in Algonquin Area Public Library. And the next solo exhibition uh, was in Lowly Place, Barrington Area Library. <laughs> <laughs> Later, I was <laughs> invited to demonstrate how I work on my uh, paintings using my style to the audience at uh, Burnson Air Library's Creator Fair. So people could join me and try to work with oils on canvas and I also share my ideas how I work on my paintings. Um, also next solo exhibition was done in Evanston Public Library and I got new experience doing uh, a, sh um, a show, uh, art show in uh, at Autumn Art Tour in Woodstock. My paintings were displayed in a beautiful place where part of the movie Groundhog Day uh, was filmed, the cherry tree in bed and breakfast. So I keep uh, working on my paintings and I also uh, display my paintings in different libraries and places where I was invited. Um, I scheduled my exhibition till the end of 2024, but if somebody is interested to see my paintings uh, or display them somewhere, I always say, yeah, I would like to. <laughs> <laughs> I also share my paintings on social media, libraries, um, wherever I can, and I'm granted to. And you know, it's good to know people's opinion because I make my art not for myself. I make it for all of you, for audience, for people. So 
And, uh, you know, like um, strangers, uh, sometimes they aren't afraid to tell you the truth, what they really think about your art. Um, is it awesome or like maybe it's garbage? <laughs> Uh, because like they aren't afraid to um, might not your, hurt your feelings when maybe your relatives or friends um, don't want to share like the real truth. So also when I participated in some exhibitions, I always try to sneak between people or find a good spot to observe and just to know like what a person thinks about my art. I like when somebody stops next to my paintings and like, um, or, or he or she reads titles or discuss uh, something about my art uh, with his friends or family members. And I would say that how I transform my uh, flowers, um, I know that a lot of people just look at flowers or bouquets and just admire them. Uh, when I look at flowers or bouquets, I see my future paintings. Thank you so much, you guys. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.